Are you guilty, my good friend? I mean, are you guilty of sin? The reason I ask you this question is that I was thinking about sin and forgiveness the other day while I was starting my spring cleaning. I know that it is a bit early to start spring cleaning. I usually start my cleaning in the garage and work my way out. Hopefully by the time I get the garage organized the lawn is free from snow and I can start doing some raking. I like to clean from the outside of the house first, since that is what most people see. I always run across things I had forgotten about or misplaced when I do my spring cleaning. I found the Christmas present I bought for my mother and set it on the workbench in the garage. Unfortunately, I had already purchased the same item for Christmas because I couldn't find the lost present. Have you ever forgotten about something my friend? The prophet Jeremiah talks about God doing spring cleaning on our souls. God cleanses us from the inside out. God forgives us, but our own guilt keeps us connected to our sins. We tend to remember and hang onto the things that God forgets through forgiveness. Guilt is a stain on our cleansed souls that keeps us connected to our past deeds. Perhaps the secret to living guilt-free from sin is to truly believe that God forgives all of our sins. Living free from guilt through God's grace. Although you wash yourself with soap and use an abundance of cleansing powder, the stain of your guilt is still before me, declares the Sovereign Lord. Jeremiah 2.22 The only way to cleanse your soul is by sacrificing your heart. I live in the heart of the penetrant person who has come to me through the work of the Savior. No soap can purify the soul, and no sanitizer can remove the stains created by sin. My saving grace alone makes the perfect room for my indwelling in your life. I do not coexist with sin. As you clean the outer person this morning through your daily ritual, give thanks for the cleansing of the inner person by my grace. My grace is the most abundant gift on this earth. I have created enough for every person in every period of time. Even though I cleanse you whiter than snow you must do one thing to complete this spiritual cleaning process, my child. Do not hang on to the sins that I forgave. Too many of my beloved children cling to their sins or even their parents' sins. Guilt is always an option of your choosing, I always let go of the sins of the past. My grace washes all sins completely from your soul, you must release the memory of them from your mind. The only past sins or generational sins that exist are the ones you dig up from the past. Do not let your guilt chain your soul to sins that were cleaned and erased from your life. Rather than choosing guilt, select my love and grace, they are a healthier option. I hope you gain some insight into the nature of God's forgiveness. Too many people don't feel that God has forgiven them of their sins and they cling to past memories or worry that God is against them. I hope that you have a healthy understanding that it is God's nature to forgive sin. Jesus died a physical death so we would have a witness to what forgiveness looks like. God gave us the Holy Spirit to show that divine love can live in us, but we are cleansed and free from sin. I hope you will feel the amazing grace of God every time you confess your sins. May I share a prayer, my friend? You are truly amazing my God. You created us out of your love. You gave us the freedom to live according to our wills and not follow yours. You created us in your image, but we turned from following you. By your love, your holy heart was broken and you sent Jesus. We give thanks for the path for the forgiveness of sins through your divine Son. We pray that as our sins are forgiven, you will also help us to let go of our guilt. We are cleansed and made free by your grace. The power of Jesus washed us whiter than the new snow. Now your love abides in us through your Holy Spirit. Let the sins of the past remain forgotten and the blessings of the future always before us. We are your children, 
freed from sin and loved by our God. In the name of the God who created us redeemed us and loves us, Amen. I hope this devotional was memorable enough to help you remain free of past guilt, my friend. I share these words today because God wants us to feel the power of grace in our lives and live guilt-free. How do I know this, my friend? Because God sent his son to remind us that we are forgiven, yes, our sins are forgiven. God also sent the Holy Spirit, so we would know that nothing is closer to us than the Spirit of God. Go in peace, my friend.